Welcome to the fourth Sunday of Lent and today we hear how Jesus helped a blind man to see again. God has given us the gift of sight to see all the wonderful things that he has made in our world. But we also need to open our eyes to people in need and to see how we might help them. And let's think and pray more about this today. And we'll begin with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let's say the opening prayer together. God of power and glory, we give thanks to you for the wonderful gift of sight. Open our eyes to the good things in the world and help us also to see when people are in need and how we may help them. Amen. And before we hear the gospel, make a little sign of the cross on our forehead. God be in my thoughts, on our mouths. God be in my words and here. God be in my heart. And the reading comes from John chapter 9 verses 1 to 41. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. Jesus spat on the ground and made some mud with the spittle. He rubbed the mud on the man's eyes and said, Go and wash your face in the pool of Siloam. This name means scent. So the man went and washed his face and came back seeing. His neighbours then and the people who had seen him begging before this asked, isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, he is the one. But others said, no, he isn't. He just looks like him. So the man himself said, I am the man. Then they took to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. The day that Jesus made the mud and cured him of his blindness was a sabbath the pharisees then asked the man again how he had received his sight he told them he put some mud on my eyes i washed my face and now i can see some of the pharisees said the man who did this cannot be from god but he does not obey the Sabbath law. Others, however, said, How could a man who is a sinner perform such miracles as these? And there was a division among them. So the Pharisees asked the man once more, You say he cured you of your blindness. Well, what do you say about him? He is a prophet, the man answered. And they answered, You were born and brought up in sin, and you are trying to teach us? And they expelled him from the synagogue. When Jesus heard what had happened, he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? And the man answered, Tell me who he is, sir, so that I can believe in him. And Jesus said to him, You have already seen him, and he is the one who is talking with you now. I believe, Lord, the man said, and knelt down before Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A little um, gospel reflection. Jesus makes a paste and puts it on the blind man's eyes and tells him to wash in a pool. When the blind man does this, he can see. And the Pharisees, some of the religious leaders of the time, question the man and his neighbours to find out how Jesus gave him his sight. The man tells them, but they do not believe it and grow angry. And Jesus tells the Pharisees that they are blind.
because they cannot see that he is the son of God. And while there is nothing wrong with their eyes, the Pharisees do not open their hearts to see the truth of who Jesus truly is. And while the blind man is able to see and believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And through our prayer and listening to God's word, our eyes are open too. Our hearts are open to receive God's grace and to see the truth of Jesus and who he is. But let's take a moment now to thank God for this grace. And let's say the closing prayer. God of hope, inspire us to look out into the world, praising and thanking you for all that is good and seeking your help as we try to help others in need. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. An activity suggestion. The man is cured of his blindness and each time he meets someone after the healing, the man comes to a deeper awareness of who Jesus is. And in a similar way, we who are baptized continue to grow in faith as our relationship with and knowledge about Jesus grows. And perhaps invite each member of your family to draw a timeline of his or her life. And on the timelines, ask family members to identify moments in their lives, especially their life of faith, and invite each person to reflect upon who Jesus was to him or her at each significant moment. And how has each person's relationship with Jesus changed or grown? And perhaps if you have time, it would be wonderful to read today's gospel um, of John and note how the relationship between Jesus and the man born blind changes and grows throughout the gospel and pray together too that your relationship with Jesus will continue to grow and develop and become ever deeper. Thank you for being here um, this week and may God bless you abundantly and take care. Bye-bye.